Brent Atkins. What career do you want to have? Think about this and think about whether or not you have to be hired for this career. Now, oftentimes the answer to this is yes, unless you want to start your own business. So now imagine that you go through the application process, you go through the hiring process, and then the interviews, and then you don't get hired. It can be a very devastating thing to happen to someone that happens to people every day. And luckily, there are ways to help you increase your chances to get hired. But this visual behind me is data gathered by interviewing 10 business executives on what they look for during the hiring process and potential employees. Those top three skills or traits are communication skills, interest in the company you're interviewing for, or uh, being a self-starter. And so first is communication. Communication is very important to any business in any field. And this is likely for three reasons. It increases productivity, it increases employee morale, and it can help decrease mistakes. Now, there are many mistakes that it can help decrease. An example of that would be, say a boss tells an employee that he wants him to do a report. And the employee says, okay. And then that's the end of our conversation. So then the employee later realizes that he has no clue how the boss wants him to do this report. And then he's also scared to ask the boss questions about it because he feels that he should have done so during the conversation. So the employee takes a risk and does this report. And then there's a chance that he could have made some mistakes during it because he's a bad communicator and didn't ask questions when he should have. Now the second trait or skill that these executives thought was most important was having interest in the company you're interviewing for. But employers expect certain things from you before you're hired. Those things are having interest in their company, gaining information about the company prior to the interview, and also asking questions about the company during the interview. And interviews are a two-way street. So what this means is that you're being the one interviewed, but this is also your opportunity to ask any questions that you might have of the employers. And actually, employers really enjoy it oftentimes when you do ask questions about the company because this shows that you did your research prior to the interview. And showing interest tells employers oftentimes that you want to work for that company, that you're not just interviewing for any job you can possibly get but that you show the interest in that specific company and want to work for them. It also shows employers that you have initiative, that you don't even have that job yet, but you did all this work to gain information about the company to get hired. And then the third skill or trait that employers, that the executives said was most important to them was being a self-starter. Being a self-starter often means that you're self-motivated, that you don't need outside factors to motivate you to do things. And employers want self-starters because they can, sell, they can set benchmarks for themselves. And this is important to any employee across any field because if you set your own personal benchmarks, then that makes sure that your productivity will stay high because you always have something personal that you're striving for. Employers also want self-starters because they make good team leaders. You'll come across a lot of work throughout your career that requires you to work in groups or teams. So it's always important to employers that those groups or teams have one or two people coordinating all the activities of the group so that there's no mistakes and that everything goes smoothly. Employers also want self-starters because they are often open to any form of training. So if you're a self-starter, you're self-motivated, so you're wanting to do anything possible to increase your chances of getting the job, getting a raise, or whatever the reward may be you're looking for. So you are going to <coughs> often be open to any form of training your company wants to give you, and this can in turn help the company by lowering training costs. Now you can also present yourself as a self-starter during the interviewing process by creating your own unique interviewing method. 
An example of this I'll give you is one I heard from a guest, guest speaker. Now his name was Jeff and he was interviewing for a sales position at a very lucrative company. And because this company is so lucrative, he knew there would be other very high quality employees interviewing. So what Jeff decided to do was bring a copy of Green Eggs and Ham to the interview. Now what he did with this is he stuffed the book in a bag he had, just enough so it was visible. Then he walks into the interview room and almost immediately someone points it out and asks him if he's doing some light reading before the interview. And he pulls the book out and tells him it was for them. He said this book shows a character who tries his hardest to get someone to try a certain food. And he said this person gets immediately shut down day after day and then 60 some pages later that character ends up trying the food. And he said this book perfectly shows what a salesman should do for their clients at all times. And he said, and I think I can do this for your company. So that's just one example of how you can just leave your impression with the interviewers by giving any kind of story or anything that can, they can relate to. And I thought this example is a very good way to close the speech because it shows you all that there's basically an infinite amount of ways to make your speech or your interview memorable. Thank you. Okay. Good. Yeah, that's a good question. Okay, yeah. so out of those three, communication, interest in company, and self-start, which do you feel that you were the strongest side? If you were to go into an interview, if you've already gone into an interview, how much do you feel? Me, personally, I feel being a self-starter.